Hello and welcome back to One Trainer vs. The World Season 3. Now, I have realized, you know what? I do not care to have Setsuko in my party. I mean, she pretty much needs that Thunderbolt TM to function, and that Thunderbolt TM is a pain to get. So, close. I am bringing out you. Also, eventually I might want to switch out Shenzi for the OG, but... Before that, I feel like I kind of want to just get the Leaf Stone so that I can actually evolve him so that he will actually be better. For at the time being, he is not better than Chensi. At all. Now then, my trusty team, let us go up to the volcano! After fighting some dudes that we, st that we skipped earlier! Alright, the road to the volcano has been opened up. Time to get up there and stop Team Magma with my new allies, Team Aqua. With only myself and nobody else as representatives of Team Your House is on Fire. If they expand the land, there will be less habitats for water Pokémon! Yeah, douse them in fire! Oh, Vega! Please, you must stop Team Magma for me! They're trying to make this volcano erupt by using the Stolar Meteorite's power! I don't think that's how it works. It's all part of their plans to expand the world's man. It's all a part of their plans to expand the world's landmass! Yeah, um, but I don't think that's the way it works! I think these guys are dumb! Though I should still stop them, just in case what they're saying isn't dumb! Oh no, the boss has the meteorite! Excuse me, how are you planning on using the meteorites to actually, you know, make the volcano explode? I don't really see the logic in that at all, Mr. Mist uh, Mr.? I mean, you looked like a dude, but your name is Tabitha, which sounds like a very female name in my opinion, so I'm not really sure what you are. Or, well, I know one thing you are. WEAK! Oh no, the boss is going to be stronger than his companion, his, com his subordinate Tabitha. Whatever shall I do? I am sure that I will get my ass kicked and have my entire team killed now! The power contained in the meteorite. By amplifying its power with this machine, Mount Chimney's volcanic activity will instantly intensify. F -f -f the volcano will erupt, spewing lava that will cool and harden. It will expand the land mass. You again! Now listen, we humans have grown on dry land. The land is everything. Its importance is paramount. That is why we of Team Magma are committed to expanding the land mass. It will create space for new species of Pokémon to evolve. It will give us humans more space to advance. That is Team Magma's vision. I can't allow an ignorant child like you to get in our way. I, Maxi, will show you the consequences of meddling. Oh, look at this guy. Thinks he's intimidating. With his mighty Anna that probably has Intimidate. It didn't even work, because Close is, is not... Just, he is immune to being intimidated. He is way too brave. Oh dear. Maybe I might have a little something to be afraid of. But just a little bit. You know what, Orson, go throw mud in its face. It won't do much damage, but it'll sure slow it down. Wow, it actually did pretty much the same amount of damage as Rock Smash. What the hell? I 
I feel like I'm relying a bit too much on Orson at the moment, but eh, the next gym is level 28. I'm not really in trouble yet. Besides, Orson is going to have to carry the weight there too. How dare you have potions? What, you think you're some sort of gym leader or something? Well, let me tell you something. You are not a gym leader. Never mind the fact that you're actually putting up more of a fight than the last gym leader did. Well, for that, uh, I will face it with my own flying type. Just so that my own flying type will actually get something to do. Besides, it's a gold bat. It's not exactly known for being super strong. Crowbat is kind of super strong, but wow, that was more super strong than I anticipated. Hmm. You know, maybe I wasn't right to mock this dude. Maybe he actually isn't a total pushover after all. Actually, Zeke can probably do some damage with his headbutt, maybe. Let me just double check what their stats are. Kotori, 45, plus Sylph Scarf. Zeke, 47, plus a revive, which I'm going to sell. Eh. It looks like Zeke will actually be better. Or did I just read things completely wrong? Am I turning blind? Excuse me, I must double check that I'm not turning blind. Okay, I am not turning blind. Now, headbutt! Well, that was considerably more useful. Fight through it, Zeke. Do not fall victim to your own mind. Damn it, you fell victim to your own mind. In before it turns out the revive he was holding was in fact foreshadowing. I was kidding! No! My pickup artist! <laughs> well, now I'm annoyed. <laughs> Stop having potions, you douchebag! You already killed my pickup artist! It's almost like I shouldn't have mocked you or something! But I regret nothing. My mocking was fully justified! At least, if I'm not mistaken, I will soon be able to get access to Surf, so... Actually, that doesn't really relate to this at all, but... Uh, at least I don't think I'm going to be needing cut anytime in the near future, so that's nice at least. Well, as nice as things can be when my pickup artist died. <laughs> Congratulations, Maxi. You are the first boss in this game to have actually done any serious damage to me. And it actually happened sooner than it did in, in Ruby as well, in Soul Silver as well. No, it didn't happen sooner than it happened in Ruby. I mean, seriously, what was I saying? This is Ruby. Hmm. Orson is kind of weakened. I want to heal him up first, even though this thing is probably going to use a fire move, which will not do much against Orson at all, but... Ah, no. Instead, it used focused energy, which could actually be worse. Orson, get out there and use your not very strong at all water move. Even a critical hit of that won't kill. It wouldn't even do significant damage. Okay, why did I suddenly lose contact with the program?
Well, water gun might be a shitty move, but it was still good enough for you. Ew. Well, battle over. But I still hate you. What? I, Maxi, was caught off guard? Ah, whatever. I will give up our plans for Mount Chimney for the time being. But no one can ever stop us. Team Magma will prevail. Don't you ever forget that. Vega, thank you. With your help, we thwarted Team Magma's destructive plan. But this victory doesn't mean the end of their evil plans. We will remain vigilant and keep up our pursuit of Team Magma. Vega, we shall meet again. You know, some of the stuff you guys have been saying left leaves me thinking that you're not really all that much better. But, again, for the time being we have the same goals. So I will, so I will assist you. As the sole representative and leader of Team Your House is on Fire. Now then, we are at a new area. But I feel I should heal up my people before, before doing stuff in this new area. And I suppose I'm most likely going to find a fire type of some kind in here, in which case... Belle won't really be able to put them to sleep, will she? Already have one. Meh. Wow, same patch of grass even. Already have one. Meh. Now don't be a third new Mel. Did you not hear me? Also, Zeke, give me that bit of foreshadowing you were carrying. You know I can't use it on you, right? Well, here we are in Lava Ridge Town, where I have to now put one of my teammates to rest. Zeke, you might not have been all that strong, although you had headbutt, which is pretty good, I guess. But you did have pickup, and that made you awesome. You shall be missed. Now then, what do I want to put in there in its place? Hmm. Get back Tarin, considering how the next gym is fire types? Yeah, I think get back Tarin since the next gym is fire types. Oh hey, it's a Pokemon egg. How neat. I suppose then that means I'm getting something in this town. I didn't think I would get something in this town. Alright then, now give me the egg. And with that, I suppose it's time to run back and forth a whole lot. Or bike back and forth a whole lot, maybe. Alright, now let us see what is within this egg. Why not? Nyeh. I did not really... I expected something more interesting than a why not. Well, I am going to answer that question. That's why. Well then, let's have a look at that why. Calm nature, which does something... And then again... It's a why not. I have no intention of using it anyway. Why not? That's why. Well, 
Like a Pokemon whose entire whose entire appeal consists solely of just being able to take hits and then deliver damage back based on how much damage it took. Not very optimal for a Nuzlocke. Well, in any case, I suppose it is time to do tons of level grinding. Oh, yay! Talking to random people. It's such a good way to get stuff. Come to think of it, where and when do I get the safety goggles so that I can enter the desert? After beating the next gym, apparently. So, meh, for the time being, that's not gonna do me any good. Oh, but now that my pickup artist is dead, I don't have anything to smash these rocks with! Do I have something else that could potentially smash these rocks? Orson, Shenzi, and Kroos. Mm. Well, Shenzi has decent attack, so... And... She is kind of hurting for moves at the moment. Wow, that explains why that rock smash did so little against that thing. Man, HM moves, seriously. Why do they suck so badly? I can't help but notice that Tarin is taking longer to evolve than Kotori did. I had better hope that Pelipper turns out to be just an objectively better flying type th than Swallow is. And I suppose now we shall find out if Pelipper is an objectively better flying type than Swallow is. Swallow looks better, though. That much I can say. I'll protect. That could be a good start, maybe, I suppose. Now then, let us have a look at their stats. Not even an objectively better flying type. Though I suppose he has better special attack, so... He's a better water type, at least. I hate myself right now! That was like... For one thing, I just encountered a shiny. For another thing, I just encountered a shiny of a Pokemon that I had been wanting. Just... <laughs> no, do not stop learning Protect. For you see, Protect is going to make this guy the ultimate counter for Norman. Well, Norman's, Norman's slacking at least. I can just use Protect on the turns that it's not affected by Truant, and it will literally never be able to damage me. Alright, I am going to use the pickup artist's final rare candy on Bell. Because, I mean, as it turns out, she can fight the Pokémon around here, but it's kind of a risky business. For you see... Mostly, I run into fire types! Though, as you can see, even the fire types don't really do that much against her, so... She's not in any serious danger. Of course, Belle is not going to do anything whatsoever against a fire gym, so... I'm not even sure why I'm leveling her up at the moment. I mean, aside from my OCD demanding that my entire team be up to par, even though only Orson and Taryn are going to be fighting. 
All right, and with that, the entire team is up to par. And I need never level grind in this particular route where I am reminded of my absolutely absurd failure ever again. I mean, yeah, that was terrible, but it's kind of funny in the same way. Just... Won to the matchup, ran into a shiny, which I could have got, killed it before I even saw that it was a shiny. Just... <laughs> With even just a few minutes of distance from the event, that is kind of funny. Hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Vega? Lava Ridge's gym leader Flattery uses fire type Pokemon. Her passion for Pokemon burns hotter and stronger and hotter than a volcano. Don't get too close to her, you'll burn. Hose her down with water and then go for it. I think I shall. Alright, here we are at the gym leader. Welcome! No, wait. Puny trainer, how good to see you've made it here! I have been entrusted with the... No, wait. I am Flannery and I'm the gym leader here! Uh, dare not underestimate me though! I have been le I have been leader only a short time! Oh, dare not underestimate me though I've been leader only a short time! With skills inherited from my grandfather I shall... Uh... Demonstrate the hot moves we have honed in this land! Well, you sure sound sure of yourself. Now, will this... It didn't one-shot? Damn it, Tarin, you are such a disappointment! Ah, well. Go ahead, Flannery. Waste those hyper potions. You know I'm going to effortlessly win anyway. At least I'm going to assume I'm going to effortlessly win. I mean, I did take an opponent lightly just a few minutes just a few minutes ago, and it resulted in my pickup artist dying on me. So I suppose who knows what could happen. Who knows what could happen, but I doubt it'll be anything terribly terrible. Right. Just to give Orson something to do, I'm going to send out him too. Though I think that, Tar that Tarin is actually better at being a water type than Orson is. I suppose I should... Perhaps double check that, and in any case, or mm, Orson is now in love with this Torkoal, so that could be a problem. Wow, yeah. Tarin actually has way better special attack than Orson does. Okay, then there's really no reason for Orson to be out right now. Just switching back into Tarin, who is also susceptible to <laughs> attract, but... Oh dear, well, that... Eh, uh, you are going to make things annoying for me, aren't you? I do have a full restore. Nye. I consider this an adequate cause to use the full restore. Now then, Tarin, use water gun on it. That incredibly powerful move which you have. Thing is, a critical hit would kill, so going to play it safe. And another water gun won't kill unless it gets another critical hit, so... Here is another water gun. Score a critical hit! And now she's probably going to heal up again. She did indeed heal up again. I kind of fumbled my words there, but whatever. It's hardly the first time that has happened. I don't want to waste my, at the moment, extremely rare full restores. I used the one. That was it. In before that comes back to bite me in the no, I shouldn't be tempting fate. I already tempted fate once this episode, and then the thing I said uh, the, that I speculated would happen actually happened. I shouldn't do that.
All right. Now use your super powerful water move. Not quite super powerful enough, however. That's going to do more damage now, though, isn't it? Oh, well. But either she's going to heal up now, or I'm going to outspeed and kill this thing. I outsped and killed this thing. Awesome! Good job, Tyrion! And Orson, you totally contributed! Oh, I guess I was trying too hard. I, I've only recently become a gym leader. I tried too hard to be someone I'm not. I have to do things my natural way. If I don't, my Pokémon will be confused. Thanks for teaching me that. For that, you deserve this. If you have a heat badge, all Pokémon up to level 50, even those you get in trades from other people, will obey you completely. And it lets your Pokémon use the HM move strength outside of battle. This is a token of my appreciation. Don't be shy about taking it. That's overheat, right? Which I suppose is better than Ember, but... It's not really the kind of move that I like to use, so... Meh. At the same time, what else am I supposed to use? I don't actually have anything that I can use Flamethrower with, so... Or, well, yes, I do have something I can use Flamethrower with, but I don't have means of getting Flamethrower. Oh, hi, sexist douchebag. Vega, hey, it's been a while. How's it going? Hmm, that's a decent collection of badges. Alright then, you might as well have this. And with that, I can enter the desert. Thank you, Bre Brendan. Now go away. Did you just say that my father looked really tough, unlike me? If looks could kill, you would be dead right now. And don't be surprised if you see your house being on fire later. Vega has lost her pickup artist, murdered the one in 8,000 shiny, and obtained the fourth gym badge. Now, will she be able to find something epic in the desert? Find out next time.